Hey everyone, this is Renee from iMore, and today I am looking at the Jot Touch, the future of stylus for your iPad or your iPhone. What do I mean by that? I mean it's Bluetooth and pressure sensitive. The Adonit Jot Touch looks like the Adonit Jot Pro. When you unscrew the cap, you see a very similar, almost mechanical pencil-like tip with a small plastic disc on the top. You'd be excused for thinking it was a regular stylus until you notice it actually has buttons on the side. When you hold down the power button, a little light will come on green telling you that it's ready to go. Hold it down for a few more seconds, it will blink red and green and show you that it's ready to pair with your iPod or iPad or iPhone. You can take the cap and just like the regular Adonit Jot, you can put it on the end for convenient storage. Now you can use this as a regular stylus with any application on your iPad, iPhone, iPod. But with applications that use the Adonit SDK, things like Procreate, Clive, or Sketchbook Pro, they can actually use the Bluetooth 2.0 connection to do pressure sensitivity. Uh, anyone who's used a Wacom tablet will understand what I mean, but basically the harder you press, the bigger, thicker the stroke that you make with the stylus becomes. It's like using a marker, a calligraphy brush, any art tool. Amazing Spider-Man, recent movie, I'm gonna draw Spider-Man here just to show you how it works. Now you do have to turn it on in the application. So you go to the tools, you go to devices, you turn on external devices, you turn on this particular stylus because there are others. And once that happens, your ability to use the sidebar control for size goes away because now your pressure control is the size. You can still control the intensity of the application, however. Start drawing. The harder you push, the more pixels get changed to the pigment color on the iPad. Now, I found it wasn't exactly a smooth transition. A very light stroke did produce a light line. A very heavy stroke did produce a big fat brush splat of paint but getting a smooth arc in between the two, a medium one didn't really do medium. I kind of, uh, it, it, was, it was more on either end, not a smooth transition through the range, but that might just be early days. These are brand new on the market. Now getting back to these buttons, in this app, in Procreate for example, hitting the first button will undo the last action. Hitting the second button will redo it. So you do, instead of having to take your stylus off, tapping the undo or redo button on the side, on the on the interface, you can just tap it while you're drawing. Erase the stroke, replace the stroke, keep on drawing. I can also do other things, for example calligraphy. Calligraphy is long, the power of the brush stroke in calligraphy is one of the most important things. And if I start writing some Chinese characters, or trying to write some Chinese characters, you can see that as I'm writing them, it is adapting to the pen stroke. Uh, it's not doing it perfectly, or I'm not doing it perfectly, but it is a very lovely, very artistic effect. You do have to charge it, however it comes with an awesome USB charger, looks fantastic, and best of all, it connects magnetically. You plug this into the side of your MacBook, laptop, desktop, or into an AC adapter, plug it in and it will charge. The box that it comes in is very cute. It has an almost card-like game where they give you instruction after instruction after instruction, sample app after sample app after sample app, and if you make it all the way through, because unlike an app, you can't just hit the X to continue, and if you make it all the way through, you are rewarded with an extra tip for your Adonit Jot Touch. So the good things about this is that it is the one of the first in a new line of pressure-sensitive Bluetooth styluses and this should only be the beginning and how smart uh, these accessories are getting. I still love the Adonit because I grew up using mechanical pens and pencils and I like the fact that it's hard, that it's stiff, that you have immediate tactile feedback when you are working. It still has excellent capacitive connection, very accurate, and the pressure sensitivity, while it's not perfect yet, it is, it is just an incredible advancement in styluses for the iPad. On the negative side, I didn't feel that granular change from very thin to very thick. It was a bit of an abrupt change. Um, hopefully, they're working on that. Um, I would recommend this for anybody who likes artwork, anybody who likes calligraphy, 
it doesn't feel like a brush because it is a hard tip, but damn, if it doesn't feel like you're starting to do some art with your iPad. That was the Adonit Touch. I'm Renee from iMore. You can find more great videos and subscribe at youtube.com slash iMoreVideo. You can follow me on Twitter, at Renee Ritchie, and you can find all of us at iMore.com. Thank you.